Hello everyone, welcome to this video and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do something like this like a 3D building like this you're seeing here using only Adobe Flash you won't need you will not need like any 3D softwares like Maya or 3D Max or anything this is only completely made in Flash you only have to need a little bit about perspective and a little bit about vanishing points and I'm gonna teach you in this video how to do it it's really simple I know it it looks kinda complicated and stuff but you just have to follow very simple process and that's it so here as you can see here's one vanishing point here's the other vanishing point and I'm gonna explain something here for this effect basically we are using the line tool like this line tool and why we're using this because this allow us to do this for example if we like fill this with color we can just go and double click and then delete it and we only have the the color that is in the in the shape so this is very helpful because we can do you can do something like this with that looks very clean and it doesn't have like the this like the strokes you know what I'm saying like it doesn't have like if we did it with the with this it will have the strokes on the outside but anyways let's just let's get started let's say we have a vanishing point here and another va vanishing point here First of all, uh, we can have two, uh, we can have one, two, or three vanishing points. So I'm gonna teach you every single one of them. But I'm gonna start with the two vanishing points because it's, I don't know, I like it. So let's say we have these two vanishing points, and this is like the, well, let's put it like here or something. Let's say this is like the center, well, not the center like the you will see <laughs> this is our building or our house that we want to make right so we just have to put this like this and then as you can see okay here's the shape of our house so we want to pick whatever color and just start filling with color to give it different values so you know where's the light and the shadow and stuff like that so once we are done it looks horrible right but if we double click and then delete it as you can see we here we have a very clean shape like a 3d model it looks like a 3D model made on a 3D software, but it's not. It's made on Flash. As you can see, it looks like a brick. <laughs> looks like it has three dimensions, right? So, this is a very simple shape, but if you put it a lot of work into it, you really focus, you can do something like this. It, this took me maybe like one and a half hours or something. So yeah, because it has a lot of details. So well, now I'm going to explain to you how to do it with one vanishing point only. Let's say we have a vanishing point here. Here's like the floor. And here we have Here we have a building, right? This with this is what a building would look like if it was 2D, two dimensions only. So we what we what we want to do to make it 3D is put this into the vanishing point and as you can see it looks like a 3D shape right so I'm gonna give you another example of this right here that would look more 3d let's say the vanishing point is over here so 
we we do the same thing. Right? So Now, if we erase this, as you can see, it looks like a like a 3D building right here, and and looks very good, and it's really simple to do. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of what tree like tree vanishing points would look like, and it's a little bit more difficult, but it's it's not that hard. Well, let's say we have these tree vanishing points. There are three. So this would be like the middle. And now we have to do this. As you can see, maybe this doesn't like make a lot of sense right now, but you you're gonna understand once you see it. Here as you can see we have the shape of the building, right? Let me put color so you understand it better. And we erase this and yeah, that's it. Here we have it. It looks very good. <laughs> As you can see, it looks like a 3D building with three uh, vanishing points. With three vanishing points, it looks even more realistic because it has like more complexity to it. And I think it looks very good. And you don't need any like software, special software or anything. And I'm gonna give you like a bonus tip. This, like the line tool, is very useful if you wanna do. I have a tutorial on it, but you don't have to see it. I'm gonna explain to you right now. If you want to do like a logo or something like that, let's say you you want to do okay, le let's do the Nike logo. It would be like this, right? So yeah, this tool you can use it like this. and it's really helpful because when you fill it you can just double click and erase it and you have here a clean like a very clean logo or something or whatever you want right it's also <coughs> sorry it's also very helpful because let's say you know it's really hard when you have like two things that are that you have to make like a clean edge between them it's really hard let's say you you have this here oh <laughs> this looks horrible let me let me erase it let's say you have this thing here you have to to make like another thing of other color that is just on the edge like as you can see it's really hard to do so assuming you have to like do something like this you know but with this tool it will be really easy to do that because you can oh I'm gonna explain you with this thing you can just put here in the edges and if you put another color here you just erase this and that's it like it has a perfect edge here it's nothing complicated it's really easy to do and it's really helpful uh, for a lot of situations right let me think of another example with this would be useful oh yeah it this is really useful too if you have let's say you have a shape like uh, you did with the brush and stuff oh shit 
let's say you have a, like a circle here okay and you have it like this well now nah, let me let's say you have this with a black edge and and the color inside right so you want to put it shadow I have another technique to do shadows I don't do shadows like this but if you like to use this tool oh okay let me change the color if you like to use this tool you can do something like this right you just like put a darker color you just have to double click and you erase it and as you can see you have here your shadow this is just one way to do it you can do it a different way I don't I don't use this technique that much but I've seen people that use it like I've seen it so it works here you have it and it looks clean it looks very like perfect because when you do it with the like the brush it obviously is more is more messy like it, it doesn't look that clean I like to do it with the brush but maybe if you like this style if you don't like to do it like this you can just go select and s put the brush and here in brush mode you you pick paint selection and what it's gonna do is you're gonna paint only what is selected as you can see and then you fill it and that's it so yeah I think that that's pretty much the tutorial I'm gonna finish it right now and in my channel I have more tutorials on flash and Photoshop that's the two softwares that I have tutorials on so if you wanna learn of those softwares just go to my channel and I have a lot of things that you can learn from <coughs> that you can learn from <laughs> so yeah um, I hope this helped you a lot uh, and I hope to see you on the next videos because I'm gonna be putting a lot more tutorials and stuff like that so make sure to subscribe <laughs> okay so yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching I hope it helped you and see you on the next videos